Welcome back to the Deep Digger Sports Pod. It's your host, Drew. You're my other host right over there. What's up? It's D. Good to see you again. This is the Diamond Pick of the Week, where every single week we scour the fucking odds. We try to see what is the best bet in the 49ers game this week. This week, the 49ers are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Levi Stadium. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Do we want to chuck it over to our – are we holding on something or – so with the holidays coming oh, hold up. On. But before we get into that, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. We appreciate it. And, you know, when you are one of our loyal subscribers, one of our loyal listeners, with the holidays coming up, you know, there's Thanksgiving, there's Friendsgiving, which I'm currently out of Friendsgiving. We want to give a quick shout out to our boy, Matt, who has been a loyal listener from day one. And Matt making his deep dig sports pod debut. What up, guys? Matt What's here. Up? And he's actually here because he has a suggestion for the diamond pick of the week. So, Matt, why don't you take it away real quick? I will. Real quick, I actually want to shout out you guys, Drew, Danny. Thanks for bringing the content. Thanks for bringing the fan insights. And most of all, thanks for making us some money. Hopefully, with this pick, we'll kill it. Kill it. Bring the house down. What, so, what do you got? My diamond pick of the week this week, 49ers Bucks. We got Debo Samuel. To have 80 yards, receiving yards, and San Francisco to win. Odds on that are plus 280. Plus 280. I mean, it's not a bad pick. That's pretty tasty. That's pretty tasty. Lock it in. Lock it. Don't put the house on it, guys. Don't <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but, you know, put some of that grocery money on there. Double that up. And feed your family for the holidays. Flipping that money. In he straight. said, don't put your house on it. Get a second mortgage. Put that on there. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, need we say any more? Let's just fucking pack it in right here. That's, That's it. Quick video today. Just a suggestion. <laughs> These guys are the experts. Again, guys, thanks for the content. I'm definitely subscribed. I like. I follow. Do the same. These guys are great. Niners. Let's be Super Bowl champs this year. All right. Let's get <clears> this guy got to go finish up that turkey. Appreciate we'll it, Matt. More of these. Let's dig into some more of these props. Yeah, man. I mean, so the 49ers are a huge favorite this week. It is minus 12. Uh, money line is minus 700. And the over under is 41 and a half yard or 41 and a half points. I mean, they're a huge favorite. I mean, just based off of last week, the 49ers are back. Everyone's predicting the 49ers are back. How are you feeling about that line? It's tough because, I mean, the Bucks aren't this, like, pushover team right now. Yeah, they're losing some games, but Baker hasn't looked bad. I mean, he has pretty solid stats. He's had flashes, and he could get the ball downfield to Mike Evans. And that's, like, dangerous for us right now, that wide receiver connection. Um, Mike Evans could go off and torch us, and you never know how many touchdowns that that, that can happen. Um, so minus, minus 12, feeling a little risky. But it that's has been feast or famine with the 49ers offense, like – we either lose or we're up by like 30. I mean, I feel good about that over under. I feel like the over is going to hit 49ers might put 40 themselves on the, this bucks team. Um, they're back to being dominant. I mean, what can Trouble we say? Impact. Yeah. Team's healthy again. Uh, who would have guessed like having some of your best guys makes a, a big difference in the league. But I mean, when Trent Williams is out there making guys visibly scared, having them, turn around and run away. That's a big fucking difference. You know what I mean? And Debo is the guy that makes this offense go. I know McCaffrey is an amazing, one of the best players in the league, but within Debo being there, causing disruptions, uh, having the defense scared, going in motion in the backfield, like he is the reason that a lot of this stuff works. Yeah. And so Kyle rewards him with a lot of touches and yardage and touchdowns. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, man. And so uh, I would feel comfortable with the over. I would actually feel comfortable. I mean, I know it's a lot of points, but if you're like, yeah, you know what? I think the 49ers are going to win. I think you, you hit that line. You'd feel pretty comfortable about it. But I would just do, to be safe, I would do the over, if anything. Uh, but let's hop into some of these uh, player props. So <laughs> over under passing yards for Baker Mayfield is uh, 230 and a half. For Brock Purdy, it is 247 and a half. How are you feeling about that? 
I feel like both could hit, honestly. Um, if I, I think this 49ers D line had a crazy week last week, they were juiced, they were hyped that Chase Young was there. Um, maybe expect a little bit to come back down to earth. Um, because they were just so dominant last week. Like, can they keep it up? Is Chase Young really that good? Um, we'll see, but the 49ers, Brock Purdy has the opportunity to hit that. Yeah, I think Brock Purdy's gonna hit it. I don't know about Baker Mayfield, although I mean he has two really good receivers. But this defense is playing at a whole nother level. Uh, Steve Wilkes is coaching for his his job at this point. Not for this year, obviously, but for next year. Doesn't want to be a one-and-done guy. He's a guy who was in the mix for head coaching candidate. Obviously, his resume is taking a hit the first half of the season. He wants to rebound, and he wants to rebound big. They ended up moving him from the booth to the sidelines. Um, he said he loved the energy. He loved the communication that he had. Uh, that's what you do when you're going to fire a guy. That's like the first step into doing it is like, all right, well, let's move you from here to here. So, I mean, he has to know the writings on the wall. If he doesn't have a spectacular end of this year and push into the playoffs, they're going to be done for. And so I, I expect another big game from this defense and the defense to continue to be solidified. Um, I know last week they ended up having Ambry Thomas on the field and he actually looked really good. I I, yeah, I love that move. Yeah, and Debo, Demo Lenore is actually coming out as statistically one of the best corners in the league. And obviously, Mooney Ward is just one of those guys who is who has already solidified himself as one of the top corners in this NFL. I mean, yeah, and in the next coming weeks, let's see if uh, Jason Verrett makes any noise. Yeah. Sign him to the practice squad. Yeah, uh, whatever. I'm, I don't care. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, I don't well, really Let's get into these running backs. Because McCaffrey, for the first time in fucking years, it feels like, didn't score a touchdown. So yes. how did that affect his odds for touchdowns? Yeah, so uh, his over-under on <laughs> rushing yards is 68 and a half. Uh, let's go ahead and schedule that over. That's an easy money over, right? We're going all the way up on that. Dude, that's awesome. And uh, uh, Christian McCaffrey, to be the first person to score a touchdown... Uh, actually really good odds. I feel like Kyle would want to rebound with that. Uh, mm. So him to score the first touchdown is plus 300. Sneaky might put some money on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What about touchdowns in general? Hold on. Let me see. They changed up the site. So I got to. Because I'd be, you know, maybe even McCaffrey for two touchdowns a big bounce back game for him. Uh, you know, Kyle loves him. Some McCaffrey touchdowns. That's true. So let's see here. Uh, having a hard time finding Christian McCaffrey's. Okay. Anytime so anytime touchdown minus six fifty for one, uh, plus we're going to get the odds again for two. And then if he has three touchdowns, that is plus 1100. That's insane. This is like one of those games where I feel like Kyle's going to be like, fuck you guys, McCaffrey scoring. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've seen it last week. He gave him three goal line touches in order to try to get him that record. Didn't happen. I think he comes back and is like, fuck it. We're setting a new record, boys. Let's go ahead and take this into next year. So I, I could very much see. He loves – he's Christian McCaffrey is probably his favorite player ever. I mean, I, I wouldn't be – so hesitant to say put like a, a quarter unit on like Chris McCaffrey three touchdowns just to you know just see what so happens. they don't have some juice in it you know see a little interesting if this offense is back to what it is it's explosive then you know yeah and how about this one so Debo Samuel total receptions over under is four and a half the over is plus one twenty five he's hitting that yeah he's, hitting, he's that. hitting that and that's money made bro plus 125 that's easy hit so there's We've a couple of so many bets that could hit there's a i feel pretty good about this i think that the three <laughs> losses in a row did you know send the the books back into hey like we're not sure and i think there's a lot of opportunity to capitalize here uh so i feel good about that one i feel good about uh the Jawan jennings total yards again over under 16 and a half. We're back to where it's it's money. I mean, Juwan was our cash cow last year. 
So, I mean, say that 49ers do blow this team out. Juwan Jennings is going to be on the field for like a whole quarter. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Garbage time yards. I think Mike Evans will get some good yardage. Um, his over under is 58 and a half. Let's see. Uh, Chris Godwin. Where's Chris Godwin at? Chris Godwin, his down year. His over under is 51 and a half. I would take the under. <laughs> I take the under on that. As a, uh, God, a guy that dropped Godwin in fantasy, I would take the under. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, and then Brandon Ayuk, his over under is 65 and a half yards. I mean, it's it's pretty even money. Both uh, over and under are minus 115. So uh, he's becoming a receiver that is a big play guy. We're seeing he is, it does have that rep with Brock Purdy and their, their relationships only getting stronger and stronger. Well, I mean, I think so we don't go over on time too much here. We have a lot to work with already. Yeah. You want to lock something in? Yeah. What are you feeling? I really like the McCaffrey rushing yards. I like the Debo receptions. I like McCaffrey two touchdowns. Um, I mean, there's so much. Yeah. I even think, want pretty over. I think we do. All right. I'm feeling most comfortable with the Christian McCaffrey rushing yards. I feel like yeah. he's going to smash that. Right. Yeah. All right, so that is the diamond pick of the week. We're going to drop a unit on Christian McCaffrey over 68 and a half rushing yards tomorrow. So that's it. Go ahead and lock that in. We're, we're cashing in a unit. Uh, I think it's going to hit pretty easily, but there's a plethora of bets right now for the 49ers that could hit. Uh, you have our pick. You have Matt's pick. So we're giving you gold here. We're giving you diamonds here diamonds <laughs> so be sure to hit that like button be sure to drop some comments let us know what you're betting on and be sure to subscribe the channel is growing and we definitely appreciate it so be sure to tell a friend yep and uh go and comment your friends giving best dish because i'm over here making my uh world famous green bean casserole which doesn't sound great but you know i put the cheese in there i put the bacon it, it, it's I gonna love be green bean casserole it's, it's about to smack so what do you, what's yours? What's your dish? Uh, so I was actually looking around uh, for a couple of different things. I was going to do these uh, uh, Hosen pork, cho pork chops and uh, like because uh, we have a bunch of cookbooks here. And I was like, those are they look bomb and uh, they seem pretty easy to make. So next Thanksgiving, that's what I'm doing. Let's go. Comment your dish down below. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.